In this example, we're asked to prove that if n is a multiple of 5, then n squared is also a multiple of 5. So in this situation, this is an implication. p implies q. We are allowed to assume p, and then we have to make logical arguments to arrive at q. So in this case, what is our assumption here? Um, let's just make a list here of what are our assumptions. Assumptions are also sometimes called axioms. One of the assumptions here is that n is a multiple of 5, but before we say anything else, n in this situation has to be an integer. So n lives in the set of integers. And beyond that, n is a multiple of 5. So n is a multiple of 5. What does that tell us? Well, that means that there exists an integer k such that uh, n is equal to 5 times k. All right, that's what it means to be a multiple of 5, that n is equal to 5 times something. In this case, we call that something k. We don't know what it is, and it's not really that important exactly what it is in this statement, what k is in this statement. What we want to prove, then, is that n squared is a multiple of 5. All right, now when we write a proof in this class, we have to write in complete sentences, and we have to be very clear to our reader that we are writing a proof, and we'll, then we'll be clear that the proof is over at some point. So this is all we really need to do to prepare ourselves to write the proof. Now we just have to write it, and then we have to apply some logical arguments here. Um, we all know what squared means, right? But we could write that here as an assumption if we want. You don't have to write this every time, by the way. You don't have to list out your assumptions, but it does help sometimes. So n squared obviously means multiply n by itself, so n times n. All right, let, we're ready to write the proof now, so let's do it. So we're going to always start our proofs by telling the reader that there is a proof coming. So we'll say proof. And then we should list our assumptions. So we say let n be an integer. And suppose, again, you need to write complete sentences here when you write a proof. So suppose that n is a multiple of 5. In some ways, this feels like we're restating the beginning of the statement that we're asked to prove, and, and we actually we are, right? And now, from this point, we're going to use our definitions, our assumptions, and we're going to use logical arguments to arrive at the conclusion. All right, so the next sentence I'll write is, since n is a multiple of 5, then there exists a k, right? So then there exists. And notice I, I am writing all these words out in their complete glory, right? I'm not using the symbols that we used it in our setup here, but there exists an integer. I could use, I use symbols here, that's okay, but we don't want to use all the quantifier symbols here. So there's an integer k, uh, satisfying. You can word this in different ways, but I would recommend being very straightforward the first few proofs that you write. But this is then satisfying n equals 5 times k. All right, now what do we have to do? Well, we have to square n, all right? And at this point, we just kind of do some math, right? So then n squared is equal to, well, n is equal to 5k. That's, that's our assumption. So n squared is then equal to 5k squared, which is equal to what? I'm going to write this as 5 times 5 times k squared. Why am I writing it that way? Well, look at the conclusion that we want. We want, that, we want to be able to show that n squared is a multiple of 5. So if I rewrite this just with some parentheses here, this is then written as 5 times 5 times k squared. All right, and in this case, this number 5k squared is an integer. All right, we don't need to get too deep into that, but k is an integer, 5 is an integer, and the product of integers are, again, integers. So this 5k squared is an integer, and therefore, we can say thus, n squared is equal to 5 times, let's say, m for some integer m. But we know exactly what m is, right? It doesn't matter because our goal is just to show that n squared is a multiple of 5. And we've done that, right? And so we can finish this off with saying something like whence n squared is a multiple. A multiple of 5. And that's exactly what we wanted to prove. Remember that when we finish a proof in this class, we draw this little box, and then if you want, you put a little smiley face.